hi, Tim. Hi. Hi, Ed. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're good. Um, we're here on the Sound Freak booth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Sound Freak. Uh, you're, you're kind of working with EMS uh, collaboratively with Sound Freak, right, to uh, produce these That's correct, kind of yeah. Modules. Sort of uh, helping, well, just sort of licensing our circuits uh, to uh, Aluna to uh, uh, produce these uh, booklet format modules. So these are Buchla Format licensed EMS circuits? That's correct. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. So um, what have we got? So this is your, the kind of first outing of Sound Freak, right? Indeed, yeah. So what, what, what are the modules that are on offer? Uh, so we have the sort of triple VCO, so that's sort of all three oscillators from the Synthi uh, sort of VCS3. Um, so sort of following the same uh, pattern of sort of waveforms available. So uh, you have oscillator one, with the sign and the sawtooth, uh, oscillator two with the, what, well, two and three, uh, the same with the uh, pulse and uh, triangle. You can obviously uh, shape the triangle to sawtooth. Um, with the addition of sort of sync and also uh, frequency modulation. Um, so that is the. So those, those are updates from the original design? Uh, some, were. yeah, I mean, uh, EMS can offer sort of the sync um, as a mod, but it's not there sort of in the original machine, I guess. Um, and also the frequency modulation sort of FM. Um, so is that, um, was that kind of important? Did you know, like for Sound Freak to try and add something that's slightly um, uh, different to the original? Just to expand the possibilities, I think, really. Um, I mean, like uh, generally, People buying synthes, VCS3s these days will have sort of sync mods and stuff. So it's just kind of like bringing those possibilities to the modules without having to uh, change anything later on. <laughs> Great. So should we just hear a bit of the um, of the oscillators, maybe? Just yeah, so yeah. Just okay. Um, um, what so else is going on? Let me turn these up a little minute. But, uh, so may, may, actually, maybe before that, we should just go through the other oh, other yeah. other okay. modules and then uh, actually. In might make more sense then you can get everything involved yeah right? yeah sure okay so um then next we have uh the sort of filter um from the synthy also um but you have uh, two filters in one module um and similarly you know full cv control frequency and response um also the sort of filter slope modification so you can sort of switch it between 18 24 db filter um, and also unslew or slew the frequency control, like the original has a fair bit of slew on the frequency control input. Um, so, so when you're modulating this, it, it kind of blurs it. Yeah, of, sort yeah. of like a kind of gliss a little, you know. Um, yeah. So you can switch that off. So if you want a kind of sharper edged, sort of say square wave modulating it, you can get that sort of sharper, sharper sound. <laughs> Some people would say probably shouldn't be slewed in the first place, maybe, but. Uh, uh, it had a it had a place, it's, right? Yeah, yeah. It, had a, yeah, it gave I it think a certain it's sort character, of, right? Yeah, perhaps just to kind of uh, smooth the inputs a little from the frequency control when you're turning a pot, because, uh, you know, smooths things out. And, yeah, like you say, gives it its, its character. Um, and then finally, just the... Finally, the, yeah, envelope shaper. So the same sort of trapezoid generator um, from uh, the synthy um, along with uh, the noise generator. So... Exactly the same controls. Um, you've got, uh, yeah, it will uh, repeat in the same way if you need to. Um, sort of turn it to manual if you need to. Um, input for the gate and uh, four inputs for the envelope. Um, and CV control, well, sorry, CV outputs from the uh, level and the trapezoid itself. Um, Excellent. And also CV control of the decay. Cool. Um, so, yeah, um, so should we modules. should we just hear a bit of it then and see if we can get a bit of a yeah, bit okay. of a sound going so that we can sure. Um, I guess in, in with with the uh, with the Buchla keyboard here, it's almost like a is it the AK, AKS? Which yeah, is the, yeah, which, yeah. Well, the KS was the keyboard side of it, right? So, yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, it gives it that um, addition. <laughs> so uh, so you've got a bit of a patch going now. So uh, let's just hear a bit of these yep, new just, modules, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, we we'll start off with a fairly simple uh, oscillator, uh, one with the uh, sawtooth heading into the filter, uh, the filter which the frequency
frequency is being modulated by oscillator 3 and it's a uh, low frequency mode. Um, Sounds pretty big so, down there, doesn't it? It's nice. Quite capable of getting uh, some pretty meaty sounds with it. Um, and actually running into. So you've got one filter running into the other filter here also at the moment. So you can kind of add some. Uh, that way you can kind of add some uh, fatness with the first filter and perhaps a little resonance with the second. Um, and then we also have the option of sinking in the first oscillator to the second. Perhaps a bit more obvious when you're uh, sweeping the frequency. So how does the filter, because we've got, uh, we're using the third oscillator as an LFO essentially, can we put that up into a high range and what does that sound like? Uh, yeah. The... <laughs> That's still up on high. Uh, actually, it's still quite low. Um, and there's also a little noise coming. And we can perhaps switch the sync out to uh, add some FM instead so you get a bit of audio rate. sound there. <laughs> um, and obviously with the envelope that it's running through at the moment we can also bring uh, the CB from the envelope add some frequency control which is just uh, all got very uh, dirty all of a sudden. <laughs> so so uh, when, when are these kind of do you know when they're going to be available? Uh, yeah, hopefully should be uh, sort of in the next couple of months, really. Um, we've just got a little more finessing to do of the circuits, um, but hopefully they should be, that should be done in the next few weeks, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be uh, taking orders and uh, shipping them out. And uh, is there a kind of price point? Do you know what the kind of price point would be? Um, for... It's not quite finalised yet, but um, I think we're looking at maybe about two thousand euros for the uh, oscillator. Um, I think one six for the filter and one four for the envelope. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, that's sort of uh, roughly that's where we are. Heading. Excellent. Well, Tim, thank you very much for talking to us. No problem. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>